Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look! You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. Good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed, too. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Foot. Omar used to carry around a rabbit's foot. You don't think 
I'll take it home. We can give it back to him once we've saved him. anything over here they have horses let me see more torches setting the hay on fire would get their attention scare the horses too we could get on the boat easier that way If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. plan well they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat there's no way we can take them all at once our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board we should burn their stuff that'd work we could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses whatever we don't burn we should take ruby would love to have the horses yeah we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction if you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! <laughs> How many of you are there? <laughs> How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, wait. That... That's Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean... I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Yeah, I'm in charge. What a freaking fantastic job you've done. Excuse me? 
Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell he gave you and Sophie away? Yeah, and we all survived it. Merlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie are wrong. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean. And Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. Sometimes staying focused on what I'm doing helps me forget when I'm angry. Just, uh, think about saving our friends, or... Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Right now it's just different. I can't make my brain switch to thinking about that. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Lily started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. 
I want Tim to know how to be safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try.